about 8.52. I've been awake for a little while. I was having some trouble getting started because my neck's kind of locked up. So I'm sitting here doing some of my stretches and stuff. And it's slow going, but it's going. Luckily, it's a holiday, so I don't have to uh, get my kids all functional and online right away. First thing, hopefully today will be the worst of this, and tomorrow will be easier to just get into it. The whole day feels weird having a three-day weekend, like right after getting into school stuff. But, yeah. These mornings are getting closer and closer between waking up like this. I don't, I think my last set of injections were in January. But I can't remember. It might have been December. I really miss being able to move my shoulders and not feel like they're a brick. I still think this is in normal fluctuation range. Here's my outfit for the day. Not pictured in this, of course, is my usual shake for breakfast. Here's lunch. And then dinner was tuna salad on lettuce. After dinner, we took a break from the TV to play Munchkin. We made it to uh, level 20. And I gotta say, my youngest had a really great card. I could use that this year. And I had this laying around and found it on my bookshelf, so I decided to give it a try. This thing is really, really weird, but I'm glad there there's a hole in it. What do you think? It's still a little bit weird. Okay, well, despite the rough start that I had this morning, um, I think I had a pretty good day. I didn't need my pain meds, thank goodness. And I was able to get a few more things done. I'm still, you know, a little iffy about what this is going to mean for tomorrow because I'm going to have to get up early, get my kids functional, get them online for school and see how things go then. But, you know, that's normal day, so maybe that'll give me some time to rest while they're doing schoolwork. It's the stuff that they don't need help with, of course. Um, I think that the menu around my house is going to change a bit because um looks like my dad is going to be trying to lose some weight as well um nobody's really been keeping up with their health during the whole year so I i'm not entirely sure what would get my videos struck <laughs> right now um i haven't done much looking into that but uh, nobody's really kept up with their health this year, and for some folks, it's uh, it's more difficult than others, I'll admit that. And um, so, uh, it would be nice to have somebody going along the same route as me, which um, I believe he's, he's more into the Atkins kind of thing. There are some small differences between Atkins and Keto, and I don't feel qualified to try to explain that, but, um, of course, there is always Google if you want to find out, but low carb is low carb is low carb, so maybe there, that'll make things easier in the kitchen. I can help. Still haven't gotten into my book. I need to do that, and, uh, that's not actually the only book I've been reading, Moby Dick. Um, I've also, I'm also about half through with Welcome to Night Vale because I like that podcast. And I picked that up at a local bookstore, which I was so psyched to be able to find it there. And I really miss going to that bookstore. I haven't been in there since all of this started way back in, I don't know, March. I'm really missing coffee. I'm trying to think what else might be pertinent. Um, my stress breakout is certainly starting to show. Um, for me, this is the thing that kind of builds up over about three weeks and then looks bad for a couple of months. But it's definitely, it's coming in, you know, the pimple beard is getting nice and full. 
that's not fun. I'm trying. I'm doing what I can to try to take care of my skin. It's, oh, not easy. If everything works pretty well um, tomorrow with my kids' school stuff, I really want to get in some of my craft supplies. I haven't done much in a while. I've got a bunch of resin pendants that I need to sand down, provided my arms will cooperate. I've got several blank canvases and a whole bunch of jewelry stuff. Not to mention all the other crafts that I do. So hopefully I can get myself together enough for something like that. That would be fun. Bread cravings, the whole diet thing, haven't been really a problem. Um, I, I did smell um, some frozen bread, you know, the Texas toast stuff cooking today and uh, really started missing that. But I think mostly what set that off was the cheese and the herbs involved. Unfortunately, I've still not gotten to the point where I have a replacement for flour, so I don't have a replacement for bread. Um, I did get some unsalted sunflower seeds. They're, you are supposed to be able to grind them in a coffee grinder and try to make things with them that way. Um, every time I pass the mix with, for the keto pancakes, with uh, which are loaded up with almond flour, coconut flour. My, I get this reaction in my throat just thinking about it, about how, how I usually react to it. So I don't think I want to try to get into, into that mix anytime soon. It's, uh, it was everything I've tried to do with it, whether I add an egg or, I mean, as zucchini patties, it's, it has not been good. So I don't think that's going to be an option going forward, so I'm going to have to do some experimenting and Googling what to do with the sunflower seeds. <sighs> and I don't even know when that's going to be. Thank you for sharing my day with me.